most people learning 3D are learning wrong. Do you struggle to learn Blender? It's probably because you're trying to learn it the normal way. So a problem I have with all these how to learn Blender videos is that they're all talking around the question. You know, maybe they don't want to tell you exactly how they did it, or maybe they're promoting a product or a course or something like that, or maybe they don't quite have the experience for it. Yeah, in this short video, I'm going to tell you how I went from this to this in just a matter of a year. So I'm not going to bore you with, you know, big narratives and all this shit. Let's just straight up get into it. Whether you're just starting out or a self-proclaimed pro, grab a piece of paper or open notepad or word or whatever and start writing down the following things. Goal, where do you wanna be? You wanna work in the gaming industry? You wanna make animation movies? Whatever that may be, write it down and you're not going to move on until you wrote that down. Keep it simple, don't overcomplicate it. I don't care if you wanna buy a Lamborghini or whatever in the future, this is not about that. This is simply your goal. Where do you want to go from point A to point B? So in my goal, I'll write, I want to create my own short films in Blender. How do you do it? Okay. What are the skills I need to know for this? I need to know how to animate. That's one. I also want to create my own characters, so I need to be able to make characters. There's going to be objects in my movies, so I'm going to need to model. And you don't need to get too deep into the details now, that's not important. Alright, now we got our main bullet points for the how. Now, every bullet point that you just wrote down could have been 3, could have been 5, could have been 10. Every single one of those is essentially going to be a chapter in your journey. So learn character art. I'm going to look up on YouTube, but also on ArtStation Learning, because there's a shit ton of free courses on ArtStation, if you didn't know about that. And I'm going to look up techniques. And sure, there's not one YouTuber that will give you all the correct tips and tricks, but you don't need that. And I say that even having my own character modeling course, you don't need that. In general, you should look at different sources. I mean, let's be honest, the people on YouTube that make these tutorials, they don't really, uh, unless they have industry experience, you should take it with a grain of salt. For instance, Jay Hill, I would trust someone like that because they've worked on AAA video games and he knows what he's talking about. He has a certain workflow that I can trust and when I apply it to my own characters, it makes sense. So keep that in mind. You do the same thing for the rest of them. So learn animation off the top of my head for Blender. This one French guy, Pierrick Picou, that makes amazing blunder animations. You know, I'm sure there's other people as well. You do the same thing for the rest of your bullet points. Okay, so you do your own research. Um, doesn't have to be YouTube. Just go anywhere. You could buy courses as well. And you go down that rabbit hole for every single one of them. This is easier said than done because this part actually takes the longest time, right? You going through each and every single one of your steps, your chapters, as I call them, is going to take you the most time. And if you're a complete beginner in Blender, then the first thing on top of your how list should be, how do I use Blender? And for this one, I will actually say, follow the Blender Guru donut tutorial. The first few videos will actually give you a proper, you know, understanding of Blender. I know a lot of people shit on the guy, but his videos will give you a proper um, understanding of how to use the software. And then from there on out, you could just do your own thing, but just watch his videos. It's good. All right. So let's say you have your list completely made of in, you know, sub chapters and subsections and whatnot uh, and for instance you know learning character art you could have something that sounds like how to sculpt how to texture we apologize rig weight paint bake create hair cards export and so forth now it is really crucial you plan all of this out and you know that planning might look like hell because especially if you have to like mix it with your life and all that but just realize this you have the time don't come at me with the bullshit of i don't have time you have time if you have time to play games or hang out with people you have time to do this as well if you really want it that is no excuse whatsoever so you need to plan this stuff in so you don't need to do much just an hour a day is more than enough. So imagine instead of scrolling on TikTok or YouTube or whatever, and that hour just flies by just like that. And <laughs> I used to be like that too. And I've seen people that just end up doom scrolling and that's all they're doing. And it's kind of scary to see that because they don't realize what they're doing. But it's kind of, I feel like that's, that's the whole purpose of these platforms. That's what you want to avoid, okay? Every time you're doom scrolling, remind yourself you could be learning 3D and you could be making your next short film very soon. Remember that one meme of, you know, the first half of the year flying by and before you know it, you're in June. Now imagine that, but you're also like doing your Blender homework. So the year is still going to fly by, but now you know exactly what to do and you're one step closer to your goals. So you need to plan everything out. One hour is more than enough. I recommend writing it down, obviously, and giving yourself a deadline. Stuff like... 
how to sculpt you could break that down in so many more sub steps but that's completely up to you because here's the thing you really only need to know the minimum to be able to succeed in this whole thing you could exceed and become amazing at like texturing or whatever it's all extra though set a goal for yourself if you want to do like stylized stuff you might not even need to do much in the sculpting department the one other thing because all of this might be so overwhelming that it's like well if i learn one thing and just jump onto the next one will i forget about for instance sculpting if i'm busy animating and the answer is if you leave it out for too long you won't completely forget it but your skills will wear out i've had it happen multiple times to myself if you've been on this channel um whenever i would do like the live streams i would realize my sculpting got much better because i went back into it full time essentially so i would sculpt every day at least once so what that means really is this is going to become a part of your life you're going to live this now this is not something you just turn on and off like that you could turn it off realize you will wear out on certain parts of the skills you know that's just how it goes you need to constantly work on stuff there have been times where i would animate a lot and then for instance right now i haven't animated in a long time while i do know how to animate i cannot confidently say that i would do a good job i would have to practice again not you know not that long again like the first time it's not like that it's like riding a bicycle after years you start to realize what your mistakes were and you're gonna get back into it just like that but just realize this will be a part of your life so next time you watch one of those videos how to go from a noob to a pro quote unquote i always thought those titles were so shitty too by the way it's not as easy as that that's the reality you have to live this this is gonna be part of your life and you can mix it very well with your life you know you can mix this while working out while working a job it's all possible and so having a life with friends and family girlfriend boyfriend whatever it's all possible it's just ask yourself how much you really want this and if you're not sure then you know think about it but if you are sure plan it out that's all it is plan it out this is not one simple trick maybe that wasn't the answer you were looking for but it is the reality you need to hear that's it see you